Hi friends, my name is Precious. I'm a food and lifestyle blogger at PreciousCore.com and you're welcome to my kitchen. In this episode of Precious Kitchen, I'll be showing you guys how to make a West African porridge that is called PAP, <laughs> made out of corn. It is so, so, so good. So it's basically made out of fermented corn. It's great for breakfast. You know, it could be a good replacement for cereal on your breakfast table. So we normally use corn to make this like dry corn, dry corn, which you soak. Some people do use fresh corn, but I love making it with dry corn. You soak it in water for a couple of days, about three days, it ferments. Then you grind the corn, you sieve, you take out the chaff. Then the starchy part of the corn, that's what you cook as the porridge, what we call pap. But I'm going to be showing you guys a little hack here, which is corn flour. Yay! So instead of using the dry corn, I'm going to be using corn flour because, because this is much more easier than going with um, whole corn, which you have to grind, you have to blend after, you know, into a paste before you sieve and take out the chaff. I'm just going with, you know, already ground dry corn. So all there is to do is to put this corn in a container with a lid and I don't know why I'm using a really really big <laughs> container but this is the only thing in my kitchen that I use this container to soak like water fufu cassava fufu I have a video on how to make that which is also another thing you ferment and I use it to make pap so the, the container already has like that ferment smell like I've tried to get it out and it's so I just use it for like anything that has to do with fermentation so I just I'm just opening up my corn flour and just to say these are two pounds of corn flour this this is about a kilogram of corn flour so I'm just going to put this right into my bucket then I'm going to put in water to be just above the corn flour so I'll just add in some nice cold water. I'm going to mix with a wooden spoon so the water, the corn flour mixes well with the water. Sometimes I'll use a whisk, you know, just to make sure it's nice and smooth, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm going to cover this so I'm going to place this goodness into a cupboard right here in my kitchen so it can ferment it takes two to three days to ferment then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like hi guys welcome back so my corn my corn flour was sitting in the cupboard for about three days for three days actually so it is all fermented and it's time to wash it and make some pap. We'll actually be having that for dinner tonight, so I can't wait. This is what it looks like, and it's the smell is really pungent. So don't be surprised when you open up the container and you get like a pungent smell right up in your face. Sometimes you find that the water at the top is really frothy, you know, and maybe looking a little dark or something. That is perfectly normal. That's just a result of the fermentation process. It could look as clear as this, or it could look frothy. So right now we are going to pass our fermented corn through a sieve if you are using um, dried corn like we traditionally do back home you will have to after the corn has fermented you will have to grind it into a paste then you sieve it but since i'm using corn flour which i highly recommend because it is much more easier i don't have to blend anything i don't have to grind anything all i need to do right now is sieve it and the sieve i'm going to be using it's a fine mesh sieve. I really want to talk about the sieve because you can't just use an ordinary strainer from the grocery stores. If you're in the United States, I got this from Walmart. You have to look for the one that says fine mesh. It's really fine. It's different from the regular strainers that have like bigger holes. This one is going to hold some of the, the corn, what do I call it? The chaff from the corn that we don't want in our pap. You know, but the big, they want the sieve with the bigger holes. It's not going to hold anything. The strainers, it's, if you put this through a regular strainer, it's just going to pass right through. Not good. So make sure you look for a fine mesh strainer from your local um, Walmart or Target. 
you could also get this from amazon i've seen a couple of these on amazon even bigger ones if you get like a bigger one that is much better i'm going to leave a link to how to get this on amazon in the description box below so i'm going to go over now to my sink and then we can you know pass this through our sieve so i have a big bowl here i just put it on something so you can you guys can see it you know you can have a perfect view so all i'm going to do is scoop out some of that um, fermented corn from the pill the first reasonable thing to do before even the scooping out I'm just going to keep this here for a minute the first reasonable thing to do is to take off that water so I'm just going to take off the water at the top you know because we don't need this you know so just gently take away that water at the top there we go then we are going to like pass this through the sieve We'll be adding in some water as needed because the idea is you just want a smooth, fine paste, you know. You want to take out all the chaff, you just want like the stash of the corn. You don't want the skin and all the other stuff. So when it's getting like, you know, it's not coming out so much, I'm just going to add in a little bit of water and then give it a nice stir. I like using a really big bowl because you'll be using a lot of water, you know passing it through just to let the water help you take away that extra stash so we are almost there I'll just add a little bit more water stir it's about it then just press to make sure that all that stashy goodness comes out <laughs> And when it's no longer looking like too stashy, you know, you know that you can now throw the, the chaffs so we don't waste some of that goodness. So this is going to go right into my tray. Okay, I wanted to show you guys another way of doing this. So um, seeing as the other method is going to take a bit of time, what I've done is I've just added water, a lot of water into the um, fermented corn paste. I'm adding a little bit more than I use my whisk so it could be easier and I just mix, mix everything you know into this light creamy mixture now that we have this it's going to be quite easy much more easier let me bring my pot and turn so you guys can see okay now it's going to be much more easier to pass this through the sieve so we just hold only the only the chaffs. I'm using my spoon here to help me push this down. You see that the chaff is very, very, very little. Okay. The chaffs. I'll just. I'm just going to give this a light mix to make sure that it's not thick at the bottom. Okay, I've finished um, straining it the first time and you can see that the chaff still has a bit, some of the stash. So I'm going to put it into this, add in more water. I'm just going to whisk it so make sure it incorporates. Then I'm going to pass this through my sieve again. So I have um, strained it or sieved it a couple of times and you can see the chaff look at that it has like almost no stash in there right now so you want to make sure you do that so you don't waste any of that stash goodness and this was the this is the last one i strained my bowl was a little so small so i had to use a pot but i'm going to show you what the, it looks like in the bowl for me you can see the water has come up then the stash has settled down what i'm going to do here is i'm just going to Take out that water at the top so we can see that starch goodness and it's going to settle down even more. I'll add this one so all of them are in the same place. You know when it settles, when it all settles I'm going to rinse my spoon so I can take out
perfect okay guys it's time for me to show you guys how to cook the pap now different people have um, different ways of cooking it I know Nigerians don't actually cook it on the fire they just boil water and then they pour over the cornstarch but in Cameroon we like to cook it right on the fire we like it to boil a little bit so I have four cups of water that I've set to boil right here I'm just going to scoop out some of the pap and you can scoop out as much or as little as you want depending on how thick you want your pap to be so I'm just reaching out for the bottom because that's where all that starch goodness is at. I'm still going to let this settle down so I'm going to take some of the liquids here <laughs> and mix it up so I scooped out there about a cup and a half of the starch I love my pap to be fairly thick so just going to give this a good mix to be you want it to be very smooth before it meets the boil the boiling water I'm going to add in a little bit more and that my friends is perfect now while I'm waiting for our water to boil let me just tell you guys that there is the hard pap version there is a version that looks really hard that we buy from local stores back home in Cameroon to get that version what you need to do is let this settle overnight when it settles overnight you're going to pour the water at the top out then put this into a cloth preferably a, maybe a kitchen towel or a cheesecloth a clean cloth of course then you're going to just squeeze out the excess water then what you are going to be left with is that really deep stash on the inside but much more dry you'll be left with something like that but not this weight but very very dry then you could tie it in like little plastic bags you know or whatever what I like to do is um, portion them into little the portions that I want to cook at a time so I'm going to put them in like different little little portions so when I want to cook I just pick one portion and then I can make for the family okay that's it so I'm going to let this settle and then I'm going to preserve it you can check my blog preciouscore.com to see how that is going to turn out in the meantime so our water is boiling now I have some sugar right here I have about half a cup of sugar you could make it as sweet or you know or you can make it less sweet it really depends on your taste now I do not make this too light because you know I want it fairly thick as I told you guys and it's always a good idea to have a little bit of water on the side that if you want to loosen it up a little bit you don't have to go far to get water so what I like to do is to start stirring even before the pap reaches the water because if you don't stir this is going to turn lumpy and we just don't want that so as you stir it thickens and thickens and thickens really really quick so you have to be fast you know because we don't want to form lumps with this I want it like nice and thick so you can see how that is going oh my god it looks perfect <laughs> that is perfect pap and you see that right now I'm going to add in our sugar I, I just like to add in the sugar when it's still on the fire so it dissolves nicely inside and this whole process for this quantity of pap doesn't take even up to five minutes once it thickens up I just leave it boil while I stir for about two to three minutes then believe it or not that's all you need to do to make some really really good pap no matter where you are if you can find corn flour you guys you can make some pap so so easy so so delicious right now I'm going to turn off that heat look at that amazing texture look at that look at that perfect smooth so good it smells so so good I cannot wait to dig in you guys so it's time for the taste test pap is ready <laughs> I cannot wait just to say that if you love a bit of flavor you could squeeze in a little lemon into it to give it a nice kick or a little lime if you want you know just you know before you take it out of the fire just squeeze in a little lemon or lime just going to give this a try it's still really hot but mm. Mm. 
smooth creamy it has that slightly sour taste that pat is known for it is just it's just epic you guys just just epic mm. i love having this with aqua beans or what we call um in english is black eyed peas fritters well, i'm just going to have this with puff puff because it's so widely eaten with puff puff in cameroon that combination is slimpy to die for i have a puff puff a puff puff recipe by the way i'm going to leave the link in the description box below i have my oil heating up at the back because i'm going to make some puff puff so my kids can enjoy it they just love this combination so so much so guys you can see making pap no matter where you are it's not hard i mean just get some corn flour soak it wait it out two to three days and then you just sieve it and then you make some delicious pap it's good for breakfast it's not i like having it for like a very quick and light dinner it is so so good as the weather is getting colder these days this is just perfect i hope you guys enjoyed spending time with me for the full recipe go to my blog preciouscore.com if you liked the video be sure to give me a thumbs up share this on social media so others can see it and if you've not subscribed to the channel yet be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos i'll see you guys in the next video god bless you bye bye